Here we have some rear stands out of the solution that we were experimenting with. Now the first one we put in full strength, we let it go overnight. And got rid of all the dirt. As you can see, it started eating into the paint. That's why I call it an experiment. Because you have to figure out what is working to preserve your paint and getting the dirt off. So then we put this other stand with far less paint on it. This stand came off our original paint 48 chassis. And I only left it in for about a half hour. And it just started seeming like it was going to want to lift the paint in. Not that there's all that much paint left on it. So, and then we have our new old stock one here. And we got Florida. And I watered down by a third the solution with water and put it in. And it was in for about five minutes. I started cleaning. Now, there's no old grease, it's just really old dirt. Which, believe it or not, old dirt that's been on for decades is very difficult to get off. And it got all the old dirt off. Very nice without eating or paint at all. But I did not leave it in for about five minutes before I started scrubbing it. I scrubbed it with a brush and it's got nice and clean. So that's the one we're going to use on the 38 over there. And that little brown wrapper, this is what was in it. The old stock and the big washers kind of glued together here. So we'll have to cause more. We'll put that in the solution real fast and break them apart. So we got CAD there, seems to be, big surprise, and washers. So sometimes the park rising was not very thick and starts looking like that, which I will show you. <clears throat> Because in 47, they were making so many knuckleheads, sometimes they kind of flash parkerized stuff. So, this here is the original parkerizing on this 47, which I just sprayed down with some Gibbs. Because, it's, as I discovered, if you don't keep a film of Gibbs, it can start rusting a little bit. So, I've re sprayed it down, and it came out of that beautiful chassis there so and that is where I decided to put that seat in case anybody's wondering we're gonna put it on that bike so now the whole point of all this experimentation is to find the right mixture so when I clean up that little chassis right there I will destroy my paint so we have an experiment chassis this is original paint here, or on our 48, which, as critical as it might be to ruin the paint on this, it's certainly not as critical as ruining our, on a whole bike. So we're going to clean that one and see what we get before we put that chassis into whatever cleaner we have. So, <clears throat> now this is what we have going on over here. And again, this is still an experimental phase. Just because I've used the chemicals before doesn't necessarily mean I've used them in this capacity, which I've not. So, let's see if we can get this uh, angled right here. Now, it got a little foamy as you can see. Now, give me a second, I need to get a little wind going. Got that ventilation. background is one of our big shop fans. You gotta have ventilation when you're working with these kind of chemicals. You gotta wear a mask. You don't want to be breathing them too long. And we got the shop doors open on both sides. Goes for each a little cross breeze. So again this is big container is about one third with water and half and half with simple green and gunk and strength. There was a full strength. Our uh, parts did not like it. Especially in the morphine at the time. So, 
you have to experiment with different strengths and consistencies and how long you leave anything in to see what's happening. Now this stuff had soaked for quite a while. It's all stuff off that 48 chassis, the blue chassis. In the mineral spirits, it's soaked, 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 and I still have grody parts. Hardened bits of uh, junk. I couldn't really get clean. So it's close, but it's not done. So we're going to take all these little bits and pieces here and stick them in here. And see, like this is painted, so I, I can't leave that in there. Well, that's why I'm just not up ending it. I want to make sure I don't put any painted parts Oops. into the solution. I hope everybody can hear me with a fan. I'm just going to put in this box. nuts and bolts that I can use one and I promised uh, one of the guys who bought a lot of the stuff from me any of the nuts and bolts I'm not going to use he can have it with the pile I don't really want to be standing next to this open too long without a mask on even with the fan going if it does smell it's not very good for the lungs I'm going to wash this here clean apart by hand. So you can see. I'm going to see what we get out of it. Now, the reason why I'm going through all this trouble is because in California, can't use carburetor dip. So I gotta find a solution that's legal. It doesn't reek carburetor dip. That will actually clean my parts. <laughs> Especially not destroy my painted stuff. It's carburetor dip and destroy anyways. You still gotta be able to clean all the nasty decades old grease crap off of everything. And that's been a real struggle. To find something that actually works right. I like pretty good. Just from a couple of minutes and two-thirds solution and wipe wipe and bam. Let me go wash it off some water. I'll be right back and see what we really got. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me get in the light here. It hurt the paint, and the light was already hurt. I'm cleaning it up really nice. Just from pipe pipe. So that seems to be the magic. So just don't let your uh, painted parts stay in there. You gotta get them in, get them out, wipe them down, let the solution get into it right away. Really chew your paint up. So, all right. Presto, presto. So we'll see how these do. We're going to let these soak until uh, tomorrow or the next day, whatever. But none of that stuff's painted, so it's not going to hurt it. I want to get rid of that old, nasty brine that's been just baked on there forever. We'll see what that does. And then we'll experiment with that frame. And I think we might be on the right track here. So, yeah, I'll blow that off in a little bit and I'm putting that on camera. Let's come back over here. And uh, I'm going to show everybody just how nice this little 
piece came out. Well, if you go back to the uh, video, see this is beginning rust here. So we got some stuff that can take that off. And uh, which I showed you on the uh, 47 seat the other day. This is new old stock. Came out really nice out of solution. Just didn't let it sit. So we didn't eat any of the paint or any of the wax or anything. It's just in and out, wiped it off. And again, that, that old dirt, even though it's dirt because it's been on there for decades, it's just hard to get off and not hurt your paint. So we got these little pieces here. And either this is a heavy park or a paint, I'm not sure. This park, if it's heavy enough, will turn black. There we go, got them apart. It's all greasy, nasty. It's probably a heavy park on this. They obviously didn't get them all at once. They released the washer, that washer, that bolt, that bolt, like that. So we're going to use this here on this beautiful 38. And uh, I've got this Grovio scratch bar here. I was thinking about putting on the bike that came off the 48 chassis. They got it blended in. I got one of the stock pro ones. So I'll probably put this off because the exposed piece is going to get a little more rust, you know. So I got to blend it in with the rest and all matches. So, anyhow, I'm going to pull these tanks off a little bit. That's going to be the next video of me pulling these tanks off. And we'll, we can take it out uh, today get rid of our battery acid problem and uh, steam cleaner or seat post and try and get that done and put the seat post together for this one in the green. At least that's the plan. So we'll see how long that takes. So this video here when I do the tanks can be a long one. So be aware and uh, catch you guys in the next video. So we finish cleaning up the stand and we'll put that on next. The little video is putting on the stand. Talk to you guys in a bit.